welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is having a great day. If you're new here, so glad to have you. So I put up a poll, I don't know, a week or so ago, asking what you guys would like to see, and everybody said that they would like to see me do yummy cooking. So that is what I'm gonna do for you today. So today I'm gonna be making a dish called halouski, and I've watched several videos, read up on it, and stuff like that. They say it's a Polish dish. I've also heard that it was um, Slovakian. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, but that's what I'm gonna be making today, halouski. And this is the ingredients that I am going to use today. So today I have some of the no yolk enriched egg white pasta, extra broad. I have an onion, some cabbage, and some sliced bacon. So that is what I'm gonna put in my halouski. All right, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a cutting board, of course, because you don't want to cut your counter. You want a nice, sharp butcher knife. And I'm going to start off by cutting this right down the center, if I can get it cut. My knives are not the best, so don't, don't be like, girl, you need some knives, because I know I do. So now that I've got this cut in half, it was pretty hard, so um, it took a little bit of work. I'm gonna put this off to the side, and I'm gonna just, and I'm not a chef, guys, so don't come after me about, girl, that ain't how you chop, that ain't how you <laughs> slice cabbage, and all that stuff. I love cabbage. I know when I was growing up, um, my grandmother always fixed some really, really good fried cabbage with her pinto beans and stuff like that. So I'm a big time cabbage fan. All right, so there is my cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off now. All right, so I've just put the cabbage in a strainer and I'm going to run some cold water over it. Just to clean it a little bit. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna let that drain just for a second and I'm gonna chop my onion. All right, so I have an onion. I have about a half of one that I had already used uh, for another recipe. So I'm just going to chop it up. And I like bigger chunks of onions in my dishes. I just, I love onion. So I'm not gonna dice them very, very small like probably a lot of other people would. And I am using a sweet onion, the Vidalia onions. Those are my absolute favorite onions. All right, so now I've got my onions diced. Like I said, I like to keep them in larger pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse these off now and add them to my cabbage. Girl, my eyes are running. <laughs> they are so running from these onions. And again, just going to run some cold water over those. I like to make sure and clean my vegetables and stuff properly. All right, gonna let those drain. Now I'm just going to fill up my pot so that I can cook my egg noodles and get everything cooking. All right, now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to my water for the noodles. Get that boiling before I put my noodles in. Over here, I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to my pan so that I can fry my cabbage and onions. And you can use whatever oil you like. This is what I had on hand. I'm putting this at about a number, oh, what is it, number eight, number seven, somewhere in there. The water is on high to get it boiling. Get my grease or my oil, whatever you want to call it. Get that hot. All right, so now that I have my pan heating up and my vegetables uh, over in the colander to um, drain, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the bacon. All right, so as you guys can see, my janky knife right here, look at this knife. See this knife? It is the dullest knife I've ever dealt with in my life, <laughs> in my entire life. So I promise after I get done with this recipe, I'm gonna make a little trip, maybe send the husband out to get me a real knife, because this knife is going in the garbage. But let me try to get my meat chopped up here. So I've decided not to put the rest of this bacon in here. I think this is plenty. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the hot grease. I'm going to decrease the amount of oil I have in this pan because I put this much in. I think that's way too much. I'm gonna pour this into a container. Um, then I'm gonna add my bacon because the bacon is going to throw off some um, grease as well. So let me reduce the amount of oil I have here. All right, so I went ahead and um, decreased the amount of oil. Now I'm gonna turn my heat down because my oil is pretty hot. And I'm going to go ahead and slide the bacon off. Let that cook for a few minutes. I'm not gonna cover it or anything like that. Just let it fry up. I'm not gonna add any salt or anything like that to it because bacon is already kind of salty as it is. All right, so you can see our water is starting to boil over here. So here another minute or so, I'm going to throw in my egg noodles. Try to get all that bacon separated so that it can fry evenly. All right, so I'm gonna pour, oh, roughly about half of the bag in here. All right, now I'm just going to push them down in the water just a little bit and let them boil. Have you guys ever tried this dish before? I have had it. It is wonderful. I've had it done several, several different ways. Um, I've had it with kibasa. I've had it with bacon. I've had it just the cabbage and noodles. I've had it just the cabbage, noodles, and onions. There's so many ways to cook this up. This bacon is smelling so good. All right. So my egg noodles are just about done. I like them a little bit al dente. I don't like them mushy. So that's what they look like now. And they're just about there. My bacon is getting to the um, desired cookedness, if that's a word, that I want it to be. And as you can see, that's why I'm glad I took a lot of that oil out because this bacon put off a lot of grease. So I'm getting ready to now throw in my cabbage and onion mixture. All right, so that is drained. So I'm just gonna throw this in here. All right, so I am gonna add a little bit of salt to the cabbage and onions. Not much because the bacon grease has, and the bacon has salt and definitely some pepper because girl, I love me some pepper. And then a little bit of um, garlic powder because I like garlic powder. If you don't like these types of spices, go ahead and use the, the spices that you like. Go back over to the noodles. And my noodles, I do believe, get a little pinch, they are definitely done. So I'm going to remove those from the heat. So some people like to drizzle their um, noodles with a little bit of oil. I am going to just add a little bit of butter, just so that they don't stick together and get all goopy. And then give my noodles a little bit of salt and pepper. I try not to use a lot of salt but I love salt. A little bit of pepper. And of course, some garlic powder to this. So you're probably thinking, girl, that is going to be one garlic a dish, but that's all right, because I love me some garlic. And garlic is good for you. Maybe not garlic powder, but garlic is good for you. All right, so now it's time for my cabbage and onion and bacon mixture to uh, fry up a little bit. So it's gonna take a little bit. So I will come back and show you when this is nicely fried up and ready to go. All right, so my cabbage, onion, and bacon 
is cooked down. It's getting nice and tender. As you can see, the bacon is cooking more too. It's getting a little bit more crisp. So this is what your Haluski um, cabbage mixture will look like when it starts to soften. So just a couple more minutes of this and then I'm going to incorporate the noodles with it. All right, so here we go. We are nice and tender over here. So I'm gonna take this mixture and I'm gonna put it into my noodles now. Doesn't that look wonderful? If you like noodles, if you like cabbage, if you like onions, and you like bacon, I definitely recommend this. Like I said, you can add or leave out anything that you wish. It is all what you like. All right, now that I've got that nicely mixed here, I'm going to dish out a plate. So I am just going to grab some of this out of here. It's still sizzling, but the heat is off. All right, so that is what it looks like there. All right, so I have plated up the Haluski, added some chunks of watermelon, and now I'm going to give her a try. See if I can get everything in one bite. All right, so try my dish. Mmm. That is really, really good. Noodles were cooked perfect. Bacon was cooked perfect. The onions are good. The cabbage is, is nice and uh, tender. So this is a wonderful, wonderful dish. I definitely recommend it. Give it a try. It's not that hard. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this dish and this yummy cooking, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. You guys stay beautiful, friends.